Hello. Guess what time it is. It's time for Dobbs Quest. Uh, season 3, Episode 7. For anyone that by now does not know what Dobbs Quest is. It is the tabletop role-playing game played in the Iron Sworn system. Uh, where players make decisions. We roll dice to determine how badly things go as a result. And then we improv from there. Joining me tonight... Playing the part of the elven bard Serene, we have Daysnick. Greetings. As the sneaky thief Glane, GameCube. For anyone not familiar with Dobbs Quest, this might be a depressing intro to the series. <laughs> and introducing stalwart warrior Torgan, played by Lurking Turtle Gaming. The votes have been counted, and tonight we will take on the dreaded Doopster. Uh, I love that. So, if you are just joining us, I'm not shooting a puppy. Things are not going well. <laughs> uh, Good. Yeah the the team is <laughs> the team is seeking out these uh, points of of magical focus known as the Mana Springs, where with where from within magic uh, flows into the world as though through a river. Uh, the Mana Springs act as a sort of controlled flow dam, uh, and many of them have busted over the years, uh, creating various problems around the Ironlands. And so our intrepid heroes are on a quest to locate the remaining Mana Springs, learn the runes inscribed on each in hopes of perhaps repairing or building a new Mana Spring, uh, rune circle uh so the current mana spring that the party is heading towards is in a completely uh inhospitable place uh known as the shattered wastes a land of frozen ice and desolation and uh we have in our party in addition to the the players uh we have the uh the mystic Lucia, uh, her gung-ho brother George, uh, and the uh, the very druidic seer uh, uh, Sadia. The trees. Yes, it's a good thing we've got all these people out here so we don't have to die alone. Mm. Uh, so, what has happened recently is that uh, this desolate wasteland has started really putting a damper on our remaining supplies. Uh, you will notice uh, over on the far right hand of the screen, under each player, a red meter representing their current health, a blue meter representing their current spirit or morale, and normally a purple meter representing their supply. Uh, it is currently empty. So that is a bit of an issue. Uh, the team currently has, uh, in the Iron Sworn rules, what is called a debility, uh, which kind of limits their momentum, kind of makes some of the rolls a little bit harder. Uh, and worst of all, they cannot resupply in any way unless they reach a, uh, a settlement that would actually allow them to uh, sojourn. Which, uh, let's see, according to the rules on that move, uh, it has to be an actual community where you can spend time and resupply. Uh, an oasis within the perilous wilds. Uh, very unlikely, very unlikely to find that out here. So the team may just not have any supply for a while. But what? who needs supply? And that is where, uh, where things get we a little do. bit tricky. Yeah, apparently you guys do. Uh, got friendship, though. Oh, well, that's perfect. Hmm. All right, so here's how... Actually, oh, I've, I've got the card, I think. Uh, there it is, that's right here. My Little Ponies episode would be set. Oh, that's yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, the out, the out-of-supply hmm. move. Here is where things are going to go very poorly. Uh, when your supply is exhausted, which it currently is, mark unprepared, we already did that, 
If you suffer additional minus supply while unprepared, if a move would normally force them to lose supply and they don't have any, you must exchange each additional supply that you would have lost for any combination of health, spirit, or momentum as appropriate to the circumstances. So, what that means is that this lack of supply that we are currently experiencing is going to start chipping away at the team's health, morale, and momentum until they are dead. I feel bad about this at all. We did nothing wrong. This was all just bad rolls. You, you know what? It's tough to say. I'll give it 50-50. You know, a little bit on the dice, a little bit on you. I, I disagree completely. I, I think the fact that every move we make in the shattered mm -hmm. waste cost a a supply at this point well that's not my fault that's not entirely true every move you make would cost a supply if you get a weak hit on undertake a journey right so there's a two-thirds chance that we're either facing death or losing supply sure so two out of three chance yeah let's go with that Okay, if you well, get a strong hit on undertaking a journey, then reaching the next waypoint on your journey costs you nothing. The trick is, how do you manage to get that strong hit? You have so. to have a good roll. I mean, so if what, you want to Google like the Iron Sworn statistics breakdown of, of what your chances are for a strong hit at a plus three, a plus four, a plus five, you know, you can check that and see, you know, how many... How many advantages should we be securing? How free should we be with burning momentum on just bumping up our undertake a journey role? It's like you can get strategic out here. Because if you don't, you're probably going to die. Or not. I mean, probably not. You'll probably be fine. What are the odds, though, that when the three of us die, there's three able-bodied other people to just be right over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> been secretly traveling the whole time after us yeah how about that i'll be the tree girl oh perfect Ooh. i'll take george <clears throat> oh wow i'm okay. the mystical mystic classic george so you know we got some uh we got some difficulties ahead but it's nothing you guys can't handle You've handled far worse. Bye, everybody. Maybe. I mean, Glenn was turning into a fish zombie at one point. That's a good point. I got better. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, so it's... You got you got options here. Mind transfer to hmm. All right. So... Currently, the, you guys... You guys went through the shipwrecks. Things got a little bit touch and go. Uh, there were some old shipwrecks frozen in the ice uh, that were kind of combed over a bit for anything useful. Supplies, uh, information, anything that can be found. Didn't go great. So how do you guys want to proceed here? Well, all right. So we still have a main direction we can strike off in that we're still kind of moving in, right? Yes, you 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 still know kind of the direction you're heading, uh, mostly through Sadia, who for some reason has kind of a a bead on on what's going on here. Um. George and Lucy are basically kind of flying blind. Helping however they can, which isn't much, but they're at least holding their own. I want to ask Sadia how much further she thinks it is to where we're going. Does she have an idea of direction? Or merely... Or does she have an idea of distance or just direction? Um, I'm going to give this one a 
Uh, we'll say 51 or above, and then she knows she has an idea on the distance to the Mana Spring. Or to what she... She doesn't know it's the Mana Spring. Let's be... I don't believe you guys have kind of spelled that out. She may not even know what that is. Um, but she knows there is some disturbance that in some way uh, is harming or will harm further the trees. Uh, no, she does not know the distance, but she knows she knows the way. But she cannot say how far it is. Turn to Serene and Torgan. We're getting kind of low slash completely out of supplies. You guys think I... we should keep going down this road? I have given it every thought that I can. And at this point, it doesn't I seem like we're... I will we're say, all... you do, I mean, maybe in-game you have some clue... Or maybe this is purely just out of game, but you you are at f halfway on the on the vow on the journey. Yeah, I, I've given it every thought that I have, and it doesn't look like we're all going to make it. But some of us can make it. I I say to you, we need food. She could be a tauntaun. Now, the Three. idea is that you still have food. Like, even though you have zero supply, it's like you still have things. It's just an amount of things that is less than adequate for your current situation. Yeah. So it kind of becomes like you need to you need to kind of buckle down, kind of ration out resources a bit more. I don't think Turtle got the Tauntaun reference. That's okay. He didn't have to. He doesn't no, no. Watch Movies. No, I've I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Uh, I've seen enough. I've seen enough Marvel movies. I know what a Tauntaun is. I yeah. <laughs> We're Disney owns to... all of it. It doesn't matter. I I don't think this is a good place to describe what we were going to do to her. To okay, you know. okay, that's good. That's good. Because yeah. <laughs> eating is not enough. No, no. You need you need a warm place to sleep. Right. All right, so options for pushing forward is uh, you can just, you know, cross your fingers and roll for the next leg of the journey with wits. Uh, or if you can come up with a good way to leverage your assets and abilities, uh, you can try to secure an advantage for that roll first. Lane, I have a question. How far ahead of us do you think the Brotherhood members are by now? Hmm. It's hard to say, because they could be in more than one party. Even if we saw some of them ahead of us, there's no guarantee that that's the only group of them there are. Well, they're not... They're, there's not really an abundance of shadow out here. There's nothing to make shadows, really. It's kind of flat. But I'm just... We can't go back at this point. The number of them ahead depends on how important whatever is up ahead to them is. If there's a really important target ahead, then we might be in for more than we're expecting. Is that... Help me understand. How do they communicate when they're kind of spread out perhaps in multiple parties like this. Is there like a distress signal they uh, use to communicate with one another or something? I mean, it kind of varies. They could use regular agents using their shadow walking to get around. If it's the, specifically the eagle, he uses birds to carry messages around, but different sects have different leaders that have different methods. wondering if there was maybe a way we could set a trap. 
or somehow... Hmm. We could see if there's any thing that seems out of place and try to see if it's a method for getting information around, like if there's, say, a bird for Al, or <laughs> anything else that just doesn't seem like it's natural, we could see if it's been a, a drop. Any kind, of, any kind of waypoints, perhaps, that yeah. they uh, set up as landmarks or something? So I feel like at this point, you know, we need to lean into the fact that we're pursuing these people, and maybe use that to our advantage. Worst case scenario, and if we're about to starve to death, maybe we can just get caught on purpose. Uh, we'll leave that towards the end. Like I said, worst case. Your sword doesn't have any ideas, does it, Torgan? Uh, nope. We haven't nope. talked to him in a while. The Sword of Zura, the magical item bestowed from Season 1 upon uh, Torgan, and the hero of uh, First Town. Uh, only gives him a, a uh, extra ability when beginning to uh, to enter combat with a foe. Like we're gonna have to wits this thing for a bit. Yeah. So this is. So this is tricky. If anyone wants to attempt to secure an advantage for that role, like aid another. We could try to gather information and do a quick roundabout the area. Because they probably had to come through here. Maybe we can find some... something. I don't know. Hoof prints. And Torgan uses... Uh, loyalist ability. Loyalist ability to aid in that search. Yeah, so now here's the tricky thing on that. Uh, securing an advantage, weak hit is still good. Weak hit does not have a drawback. With some moves, weak hit is like a, uh, you're going to lose a little bit of resources, but you accomplish what you want. Secure an advantage does not have that. So you just need a strong hit or a weak hit to to kind of pull pull some resources for the team. I've pulled up the numbers. If you have, let's say, a plus three on secure an advantage, or a plus three on a move, you have a 77% chance of getting either a strong hit or a weak hit. And Torgan, wouldn't you know it, whenever you are aiding an ally in any way, that's already a plus one. So if you've got a move... If you can aid with something that you've already got plus two in, say, heart, iron, wits, any of those, three out of four chance you are helping the, the case. If it's heart or iron, that bumps up to an 85% chance. That's good odds. Okay. Uh, I would like to th throw Glane into the air. So that he can see further down the road, kind of doing a, a a backwards pirouette. Okay, I like I like what you see. I like what you're. And then I'll use my cloak to do a flying squirrel situation, uh -huh. so I don't get hurt on the way down. All right, I like what you're. I like that you're kind of thinking outside the box here a little bit. That said, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say no. However. That will not be a secure and advantage roll. That will be face danger. Which, the the benefit there is you don't get hurt if you get a, a strong hit. Now, if you can come with something a little bit more grounded, then yes, absolutely. I don't Serene's, know if Iron is going to be your go-to. Serene's one of the taller ones. If Serene and Torgan can kind of hold the shield, Torgan's shield up higher make like a platform and then have the others kind of alley-oop Glane up onto that platform that we're making mm -hmm. and then he still has a higher vantage point okay okay I like we'll I like what we're getting here we're it's making a pizza towers it, yeah it's more like high school cheerleader level of danger than mm -hmm. 
throwing children. Okay. Okay. So now this is now this is something. This is aiding aiding Serene, who is trying to secure an advantage for the upcoming wayfinding role, the pathfinding role. Well, I mean, cut out the middleman. It's just you trying to aid her in her uh, undertake a journey role. You're using yes. iron to kind of help get her up to a little bit higher ground so she can see a bit more in this uh, in this vast wasteland. Because we're yes. still in an area where there's lots of like, you know, jutting shards of ice sticking out in every every which way. And so a little bit of a, a lift up on top might give her the edge she needs to be able to see a little bit around the area and find a safer path to the next waypoint. I don't know how much proximity she needs for her little magic tingle to start going off. Maybe that's just the boost she needs. Mm. That's true. It's like, like a cell phone you got to hold above your head to get signal. Can you hear the magic now? Good. All right. So this is going to be uh, Torgan using an A your ally maneuver, uh, which as a loyalist, he has a special bonus that he gets to add one to this roll. And if it's a weak hit or strong hit, he gets some momentum. So he's going to be securing an advantage with iron, which is already a, th a plus three for him. So this roll is going to be a plus four. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. So Torgan attempts to lift up Serene with some help from uh, from the others. Uh, they're just trying to let her kind of brace against one of these icy shards so that she can kind of get up, get a leg up and kind of see a, a, a distance away. And that's OK. Right there. Uh, we have a weak hit. A 10. A 10. I mean, even if it was a 9 or an 8, it's still a weak hit. But you know what this means? First off, Loyalist ability, because it's a hit, you get a momentum for Torgan. Okay. That's good, honestly. In addition to that, secure an advantage on a weak hit, one momentum. And that one's going to Serene. Still not great momentum, but hey, what you did right there helps. You just gained the team two momentum. Now, it's probably not going to make the difference on this next roll um, for undertaking a journey, but it's it's helping things along. It's a short-lived advantage. Uh, so what is the nature of this advantage that we just gained uh, here? Um, let me roll a few here. Construct wound. Um, hmm, that's odd. That's an odd one. We found a blood trail. That's what I was thinking, but that would be weird, right? First thing I thought of. I don't know. I mean, well, it could we, be. We see the I see in the distance some bread on the snow. It looks like there was a battle. Or maybe or they, they go, maybe they or maybe hunt, they're still fighting. Maybe they ate something and left the remains. Like a, a, I think in some way you're finding some hints of the trail of the Brotherhood. Blood trail of an animal, maybe, perhaps. Or of a wounded Brotherhood member. Ooh, somebody that we can loot. But either way, uh, uh, with your elven eyes and a little bit of a height advantage, in the distance you see just this, this small amount of red way out on the ice and it's strange this has been otherwise a very gray area uh but your party you know continues on moving towards the area because it is kind of uh, just a little bit off the path you're on now and once you get closer you find that is that is like a small amount of blood has been spilled here uh it could have been someone was wounded somehow uh maybe uh maybe you know being patched up the details you can't really make heads or tails from just such a small amount of clues, uh, but it does seem that someone was here recent enough for there to be blood on the ground. Is it centaur blood? Mmm. 
I don't think you would have enough uh, enough knowledge of centaur, centaur physiology to uh, be able to tell for sure on that. Does it, we have to taste like it. <laughs> Does it smell like Torgan? Uh, wow. No, it's it's got a very distinct blood smell. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Uh-huh. Do I smell like the blood that's on the inside of my body? Do I... I don't know, do you? We just can't be sure, can we? Well, that, that that's a research experiment for another time. Mm-mm. All right. Uh, but that gives you a, a small advantage uh, in your journey, is that perhaps you will find a little bit further clues, which will keep you on a safe path. Now, will you? Won't you? That depends on what we roll. Irene, you should hang back. Keep your bow on us while we go check it out. If this is something to draw us out, we shouldn't all be there in the same place. Okay. Well, Jordan, the... you three idiots, come with me. So the oh. direction that this goes is on sort of the... the it's straight towards the direction that... Uh, Sadie has pointed out. Like, it it goes exactly where you're heading. So this isn't just to check it out. This is our next progress. This is, yeah, this is Okay. don't going down the road. I'd like Serene to kind of hang behind us, keeping us in her sights, so that if we go to investigate, we're not attacked and all to get all bundled up. Okay, so she's still going to be kind of finding the way, but from the back. Like once we check it out and don't get attacked, we'll motion her over and we'll continue down the road. I'm telling them where to go, but I'm holding rear guard. Got it. Yeah. Out of sight so that she doesn't get attacked with the rest of us. Right, right. That's fair. She She's aiding us. She's trying to cover I'm us. I'm communicating with, with Glaine. Like, okay, so 300 paces to the left, 400 paces ahead. Don't step in the puddle. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And since there's a chance that the Brotherhood did this, I'd like to take a look at it and see if there's any patterns or... Anything he would know. Attack stuff like, oh, they they would do this. This is how they would... I mean, so far it doesn't seem like, you know, this isn't like a murder scene or anything. This is just like a small amount of blood on the ground. (laughs) All right, well... You know, there's not not much information to be gleaned from, from such a small thing. You're not there yet. How do you know? It's the blood on the ground. The glain. Very nice. Me and Torgan are going to go check it out. What do you wait? What are you checking out? The blood trail. It's not a trail. It's just like a little or bit the, of blood spilled blood around here. Area. The area of the blood to see if there was any kind of. Oh yeah, you. That's what you guys came up upon. All of you, like you saw something red in the distance. Well, Serene saw something red. You guys went to go see because that's on the way a little bit, a little bit off the side, uh, and you found there's that's weird. There's a little bit of uh, like a little bit of trickle of blood here, some drops here and there. You know, not a lot, but it means someone or something has been right here and was wounded or something. Now your best guess is that's something related to the Brotherhood, like maybe one of them is injured, maybe they injured something but there's no trail leading away. And there's no sign of, like, broken branches or someone ran oh, away there's, this way. There's, not, there's no signs of trees, much to Sadia's dismay. Mm. No trees. Yeah, you guys have have ice, ice, and a little bit of snow. Dun, 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 dun. No snow tracks, no disturbed snow, no... Uh, Anything. any... Anything like that, if there if there was something, it's already been blown away by the winds. All right, I guess we just have to continue on. You have, that this yeah, happened. yeah. Now, now, look. To be clear, if that if that secure an advantage roll was a strong hit, then maybe you would have like some very distinct line you could follow onto the next path. You were securing an advantage for mm-hmm. undertake a journey. So this is giving you a a slight, a very slight advantage of 
Like, at, if nothing else, you know that you're following the Brotherhood or someone. It maybe oh, just there. boosted. You got boosted a some you got a minor yeah. advantage here. This did not if open up hurts, a whole new if thread. We, if we boost our pace, maybe we can catch up. Do we want to catch them though? In this shape, I mean, I don't know if I want to see them. Maybe they have an established encampment where we can spend time and sojourn. Sojourn with the Brotherhood. Maybe we can murder them and take any their port in a storm. Go to their society. I mean, we we could try to could join. mean genocide at this point. I I'm, I'm open to interpretation. We don't have the you dictionary know. open right now. It might Wait involve killing. Hold on a second. Wait. How many of those pendants have we found so far? Can we pretend to be part of the Brotherhood? We have two. If we catch them. Can we try to blend in with them? Only if we catch them. And then we could sojourn with their encampment. They might if there's an encampment. Glenn. The question is, would they recognize Glenn? Well, I mean, that's... Or do we put Glenn Wait, in a Glenn, pile of snow? disfigure your face. I mean, they, they could be like, you know, uh, like Shriners, you know, there's a whole bunch of different chapters, you know? I mean... Just because you're banned from one McDonald's doesn't mean you're banned from all. That's right. I mean, you may be banned from all, but they can't enforce it. Yeah. <laughs> you just do it. Who got banned from McDonald's? Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> oh, buddy. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Uh, So next up is going to be Undertaking a Journey. We got to keep moving. Can't freeze out here. This isn't a very great place to die. There's got to be better places to die out here. Uh, so. I'm not going to presume who is going to make the role for uh, undertaking a journey. We, we were presuming that it was serene, right? I mean, I need to hear it. So. All right. So, Marie, she, she did the most recent thing. There we go. She also, she also has the most momentum. Five. And we were, <clears throat> and we were securing advantage for her. Right? Big five. Big five. All right. Here we go. Uh, Hold your breath. I'm clicking the button. It is rolling. It is rolling. It has rolled. It's a weak hit. Five. Great. All right. All right, here's where things start to get a little bit a little bit rough. Now you were not waylaid by a perilous event. That's on a miss. So the first thing to note is that progress was made. You guys did make progress on your journey to the Mana Spring. You are Four at 6 of, of 10. However, you suffer one supply. But you have no supply. So we have a problem. Now, the things on, on the out of supply move are that that minus one is going to apply to either health, spirit, or momentum as appropriate to the circumstances. Now, what the circumstances are right now, it's tough to say. Um, so let's see here. Is it just one person? Or is it everybody at the same time? It will be one. It will be one person losing either health, spirit, or momentum. Um, momentum doesn't feel too bad, honestly. Like, compared with the others. I mean, Torgan and Glenn have four, four spirit each. It's true. It's true. All right. And if... Honestly, like... Can we look up my what the uh, the chart is on my heal ability real quick? Oh yeah. Because I might be able to float us on this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, first we got to figure out what happens here, and with for that, I'm going to leverage the power of dice. <laughs> Sing a song about how screwed we are. <laughs> we we lose a health, and then Serene heals us, and then we lose a health, and Serene heals us. Perfect. We just keep doing that forever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's what it takes. All right. So first off, we got to figure out who is 
who is taking the damage here? And that's going to be Serene. Uh, and now we got to figure out which it's going to be. I'm going to on my spreadsheet. I'm going to read left to right: health, spirit, not supply, momentum. Health, spirit, or momentum. Spirit. Ooh. Uh. Spicy. Yeah. Now, for that at least, you have the option. Oh wait. Hmm. Hold on though. Are you enduring stress here? Or is this like a, a direct drop of I oh, sure. Oh no, actually it just says you must exchange each additional for health spirit or momentum as appropriate. So I don't think this is one of those things like, oh, you get to endure harm and then Well, maybe Try to shake it off. No, let's you know what? Let's just to be on the safe side, let's give you the advantage of the roll. So your spirit drops to one. Uh, and then you get to roll spirit or heart, whichever is higher. In this case, it is heart. Now, was there any asset about enduring stress? I don't think so. Um, for me. Oh, you know what? The one loyalist uh, tick that, that Torgan does not have helps allies endure stress. That's okay. All right. Uh, so you are going to get to roll with your heart, which is a two. And it's a weak hit, so nothing happens. So you just are at one spirit. Um, Serene is feeling uh, a little bit demoralized. Um, never before has she felt so far away from the completion of her, of what she initially set out to do. And she is now on this this grand journey uh, to save a land that barely seems worth saving. She's a tr she's from a tropical climate. She's just cold. She's really missing palm trees right now. <clears throat> Could be better. She's 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 trying to hold the memory of warm, sunny beaches in the forf in her, in her mind and just focus on that memory. Mm-hmm. Just hold on to that thought. You've got you've got that one that one spirit left, that one thought remaining of just warm sandy beach, warm sandy beach, warm sandy beach. Basically. Uh alright, let's see here. Uh location. Where where do we find ourselves now? Uh we are still working our way across the ice sheets. Uh, location description, location description wide, that makes sense. Um, so we have we have a ways to go still. However, that was progress. Uh, we are far beyond the uh, the reaches of uh, the sort of ghost yard of ships. Can we take a moment and check what the penalties are on my heal rolls? Because uh, I don't remember see. how what the mechanics of that are. Heal. It it uh, takes a oh wait, five, doesn't it? your herbalist roll or your herbalist ability? Yeah. Herbalist is a path. Here we go. When you attempt to heal using herbal remedies and you have at least one supply, choose one. So you do not currently get your bonuses on heal. Um, you guys have ex you have expended your resources. It's not great. Yeah. So heal is kind of really bad right now. So guys, try not to get injured. Yeah. Generally good advice. Oh, geez. Even making camp is going to be painful here. Like make camp is a supply roll. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Uh, but what's the chance of just a hit on a plus zero? A weak hit or a strong hit either. 41%. Mm. 
Ooh, pretty bad. So very unlikely to find comfort making camp. I like, I mean, you can make camp without making the make camp roll. But yeah. That nerfs a lot of my storyteller abilities it to does. help us recover. It does, yeah. Looks like it's no sleep till Brooklyn. Here we come. To Four be clear, rolls and we're there. sleeping does happen. I mean, there's a point there. Um, like, I don't, I'm not comfortable rolling it on a six, but... No. We don't have to go all the way to ten. Ooh, that's a scary <laughs> thought. That's a scary thought. But yeah, like you guys are you have you have some resources here. Like in the in the form of health, spirit, momentum. So like you can you can make it farther just on the idea of, yeah, we might be taking some bruises and bumps along the way, but we're making progress with weak hits. I, I just have to aid the ally on every roll. I mean, it, it you don't have to. It helps, but it is still a risk. I, I want to be clear on that. Every roll is danger. Every roll is dangerous in Iron Sworn. We're just gonna have to keep pressing on. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's the plan here? Tally force. Tally force. Shortest, shortest distance between two points. Just keep going straight, I guess. Sadia is your compass. That seems so dangerous. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, she's not very happy out here either. There's no trees. Er her compass detects wood, not metal. <laughs> mm. I mean, Lucia and George aren't having a, a, a pleasant time either. They are also from a warm climate. They are. George is, George is starting to freak out a bit. Mm. Like, he's, he's having to kind of come to terms with the fact that this may be the end of his journey. Pun intended. Da-da-da. Listen, if, if we're about to die, then we just make the Hail Mary roll and attempt to be wherever we're going. It's a plan. It's a solid plan. <laughs> it's a Hail Mary, but, you know, sometimes those work out. It can work. It can work. We're not there yet. Take a random number and ask him to roll it, and if he rolls it, then, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, we, then we get a miracle. Perfect. ancestors intervene yeah like if i yeah. if i roll a 32 mm -hmm. the a sky D6. opens up the i the, the sky <laughs> <laughs> the skies open up and an eagle comes and carries us back from mordor yeah perfect no 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 eagles are bad eagles are bad when we're talking about the brotherhood a good eagle <laughs> it was a good eagle ah. <laughs> even less likely <laughs> All right, what what is the what is the current exact plan here? Uh, pressing walking on, that away. walking, undertaking journey roll. We're walking that away. Yep. All right. Serene leads on again. You know, you guys have a have an alternate marching order here. It went uh, so well last time. Yeah, exactly. We just need to at least not have a miss. That's that's basically all it all it comes down to. All right, Sam, with a plus three, Serene rolls. I'm gonna eat a. I'm gonna eat a Flintstones vitamin real quick. Okay, yeah, let, let's do that first. Power, power up. I think that's what we need. All right, so my mouth. Go All right, th that's what we needed. All right, we're ready. GQ, I want you to know that Flintstones vitamin was a terrible idea. Oh no. I'll, sp I'll spit it out. Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> Just remember, remember the shape and color, and remember to never do that combination again. Wait, are they all? Are they different colors still? Yeah. Okay, good. I, 
I blame D. Who was it? What did you eat? I just put it in my mouth. Oh, oh, it was mm. oh, okay. It was probably a Dino. I blame Dino. That would it would be Dino. All right. So on a miss, you are waylaid by a perilous event. Pay the price. Oh, hey, look, we found the horse. Don't even. <laughs> oh, a delicious horse. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I even dare just roll the pay the price table? Like That's a big table of a lot of things that could happen. We're out of options. Like right now, I feel like the most obvious negative outcome is that you encounter something. That seems like one of the worst things that could happen out here right now. Especially because we already know that there is perhaps something to be looking out for. Ice Molsk. Yeah, the oh, Ice yeah. Molsk. No, 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 no. There, 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 there's definitely wolves. and They're, they're very small, be... kind of very we're, tame oh, wolves. Really. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna they're get sickly. A, they don't have teeth a, anymore. We're going to get a nice warm fur pelt, and it's going to be amazing. Oh, boy. They're sickly wolves that can't find food. It's fine. They're not sickly. I think I heard they're they were hungry. blind. <laughs> they're just cool. hungry. Blind. All right, let's have uh, who wants to who wants to roll a d100? You know what? I know who wants to roll a d100. Al wants to roll a d100. Oh no! Oh, does he? I bet he does. D100 for Al. D100 for Al. <laughs> he's been, he's been waiting for this. All right! Exclamation mark! Roll d100. Is what Al happens? sure he wants to roll a D100? Oh, he's sure. Is he positive? <laughs> Upon Now that we know that you're not interested in punching him in the face anymore. I sure wasn't. The price must be paid. They got it. Okay. All right, Al. All right. <laughs> All right. The feud never truly ended. Well, now we just know who we get to blame Al for whatever happens, whether it's good or bad. Oh, I already do. Uh oh, Alquest. Oh, okay. Our penalty Ten is off Al. Nice. No, no, no. Our penalty is now that Al joins the party. We have to go roll him a character. Hmm. <laughs> okay. A. Do you want to be Sadia or George <laughs> or Lucia? A surprising development complicates your quest. That's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Bunch of Torkin in the face. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Hmm. Now, I see on my list of Ironsworn Oracles buttons I can push. There is one that's called Major Plot Twists. And I am tempted to push that button. That this may be your last chance. I mean, yeah, I might not. Get, I might not get another chance to do so. Alternatively, I can do the standard action theme to get a very vague idea. But major plot twist sounds like it's going to. Uh... You do both, and then pick the one you like better. Oh, now there's an idea. Uh, let's see here. Why not both? Why not? Why not the action theme even? All right, let's see here. Uh, for action theme, uh, we have. Does that work? Journey, fe journey, fear. Oh wait, it'd be fear journey. Fear journey. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, for major plot twists, we have. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> a new danger appears is this is this where we you know we've had this Chekhov's gun sitting on the on the uh, over over the old mantle for uh, too many episodes here 
Oh yeah, combat. Well, def that's, that'll just speed up the team wipe. Oh yeah, perfect. The snow whale. So, Shattered Wastes. No Ironlanders dwell here, and only a handful have explored the passage into the waste through the veils. Those who survived the journey returned with stories of unimaginable cold and things moving beneath the ice. Things. Things. Let's take a look. We what? had such a good day, Al. You know? <laughs> What do we have? I mean, it's got to be something awful, right? Something absolutely awful. Basically, something. It, is this something that the party is expected to be able to defeat, or is this more of an obstacle to be run away from? Like, it's not combat. It's just face danger. Well, if Allie were here, mm -hmm. it could be a dinosaur. It could. A prehistoric ice dinosaur. I mean, you know, there is something that kind of works for that. But Allie isn't here. You yeah. can't have dinosaurs without Allie. She's not, therefore. Ooh. I, mean, I, I still say it would be extremely appropriate to go out from a snow mollusk. That doesn't make any snow sense. They are, no, those are mere legends. No, the pyromosk. Those are everywhere. Oh, Fair. yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch out for them. Yeah. Red Gyarados. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Lapras. Actually, maybe something a little bit more unexpected. Dobbs is, Dobbs is having a field day because he gets to be as creative as he wants Yay! to murder. It has to be memorable, though, he says. It does. Well, he cooks this up. I'm going to run to the restroom super all fast because right, there's all an right. hour of this nonsense left. And we're going to have <laughs> two problems here in a minute. Left. Hmm. Hmm. I want to I want to tie in the blood. Whether that was from uh you know, we we didn't kind of nail down exactly, you know, let's say let's say that was from one of the members of the brotherhood. You know, they're traveling along, they, you know, patch up a wound. How do they get a wound randomly out here suddenly? Had to have been something. How does anyone get a wound? Yeah, when you really, when you really boil it down to the basics, there. Existential crisis. Whoa. <laughs> How does anyone anything? Oh, oh, madness. All right. How do... So here's here's the idea, GQ. We're gonna we're gonna tie in the the blood that you guys found. We know that a wound happened uh, a little ways back, but not really why. And so, up ahead, across the across a clear sheet of ice, uh, standing out on the ice ahead of you, kind of gazing into the distant, uh, in the towards the distant uh, mountains, the exact direction you guys were heading, is a lone figure. Draped in furs, looking out across the ice. They do not turn to face you, but something about their body language indicates that they know of your presence. It's Torgan from a hundred years in the future. Um, let's see here. Uh, Thereen. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You have not been feeling any of the tug of mana that you have normally been feeling uh, as you approach Mana Springs. Uh, as you approach, as you guys have uh, sort of stumbled upon this being, and there's sort of a shift in its in its uh, in its stance, you feel that pulse. Interesting. No, no, I didn't say Mana Spring. I said Mana King. We're at the Mana King, and that's the manager. <laughs> Some kind of entity that has absorbed? Some... Uh, this is interesting. Continue. Unexpected. So, what do you do? We're gonna have to gather information, right? Ooh, there's no... Well, well what... Alright, gather information... Uh, what, uh, what question do you have? I feel like this is a good opportunity for Torgan to make use of all that wonderful heart he has. Oh, he's a heart. He's a hearty fellow. I just go talk to it? What? I mean... I'm gonna try to go co compel it? I Damn, mean, is maybe. This a, is this a person? The, you know what? That's a good question, too. I guess we haven't we really nailed that you. down. You're the one of us who's most likely to sustain a punch. Um, so let's see. There are, there are lots of options for what this could be. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, there's actually, there's actually a few different options here. I want to roll between, oh, a lot of these would be very interesting. Someone give me a D4. And prepare for prepare for uh, whatever whatever happens. Just roll four. Yeah. Well. Yeah. D four. No, not roll four. No. D four. Two. Ooh. Oh. Okay. No. Uh, as far as size and silhouette. It looks pretty much human. Uh, can't can't see the details, so there's still some some possible wiggle room here. But you're not looking at like a giant or uh, anything like that. Not not a troll. Uh, but right now, you guys are. What do you think that thing is? You guys are still a distance off, and that's because I want to give you guys the. Uh, you know, the agency to decide if you're getting close or not. Uh, I'm not going to say you're suddenly in punching range unless you want to be. Uh, questioning Sadia. Uh, does Sadia... Hmm. The trees tell her to look out for this guy. Does Sadia... No, does Sadia feel anything weird here? Um... Hmm. Let's give it. Let's let's let the old uh, let's let the old oracle decide. Uh, I'm gonna say 50 50, uh, 51 or above, and yeah, Sadie gets kind of the the heebie jeebies. Yeah, she doesn't like this guy or gal. We don't know. We haven't we haven't even we oh, got very little details. This individual. This individual. Um, Sadie had you know. You guys have had a, a tough time kind of really uh, connecting with Sadia on a lot of different levels. Um, it's really hard to get kind of a feel for who she is, what she is. Uh, so far, her main driving factor has been something out there is going to harm the trees. I need to go there. Uh, she seems kind of very driven by you know her her seer abilities her 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 slight mystic uh connection and it comes down to you know she she receives information as far as you guys know from the trees whatever that means uh and right now uh she's feeling like this individual is 
planning to put a stop to your quest. That's John Trees. <laughs> That's him. We found him. The whole time. Morgan, Sadia doesn't seem to like this guy. Ask him if he wants to come with us. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe she won't. Yeah. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, mm. because we're in such bad shape, uh, I mean, do we want to attempt to ask maybe if he's friendly? <laughs> Because she's not the she's not the best judge of character. It's been proven. It's true. It is true. She's not. She's not the best anything. Oh. I could try calling out an elven. Yeah. You know. You know, Elven. What elven do you wish trees. to say? Um, good old, good old Elven trees. Do, do something super, like, Old English, like, be ye friend or foe. The elven equivalent of, you know, speaking in some kind of archaic language. Make sure that whatever elven words you choose, he knows that you're putting on a bit. <laughs> pirate voice. Oh, yeah. Elven equivalent of pirate voice. That's just normal speaking. Hmm. I'm thinking more something along the lines of, mm -hmm. you know, hail, um, or hail traveler or something like that. It's still like, good. That's, that's, that's just kind of a, hey, I'm acknowledging you and you're acknowledging us, but it's still like super neutral. Okay. Just a kind of like a, a kind of, yo, hi, kind of, what's up? Like kind of a, just a, a sort of acknowledging nod in Elvin. Yeah. Hi. I don't know if you're friend or foe, but you know this is in, this is start of conversation. This is why the this, do you like me note? See what they check off. This is the polite <laughs> hello. I acknowledge your presence. Um, yeah. It is, I don't know if we're about to kill each other or shake hands, but I am like, greeting you. We're hailing from the hollow deck. Hail the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Are. Basically. Okay, but in Elvish. Yeah, we're hailing the ship. <laughs> so he makes this face. <laughs> <laughs> but with elf ears. Um, mm. Ooh. Because, like, obviously it's giving off magic. So it's some kind of magic something. And I do share this information with the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, well, it's some kind of magic something. Let's try Elvish and see how that Yeah, yeah. Works. All right. Uh, you you speak in Elvish uh, to this individual. Uh, the party does not really know what you've said. Um, but, uh, so you, you kind of have to, sh you know, shout a little bit. You're at a bit of a distance. Yeah. Um. Uh, and the greeting is returned in perfect Elvish. Okay. That's it. Is that, that, that could be promising? Maybe? Are there bad elves out there? I mean, there are corrupted elves. Because if the man, if the mana spring is damaged, it can, bad things can happen. Yeah, well, that's true. In season one, you took a fit. Mm -hmm. We had to put you down. That that happened. That happened once. We've we've learned we've learned we've learned how to deal with that to some degree. Um. Okay. So ball is in your court. Uh, as you know, classic Elven uh, etiquette would go. That is a that is a I see you. I see you. I see you. Ah. The dice is going to tell us if they have a case of the yips. Be you friend or foe? Ooh, all right. Asking asking for a disposition here. Um, 
I mean, that's a pretty standard next but, question. Yeah, yeah. But, but how would he know? How he doesn't know who we are? Well, then he can ask us a question, and we'll figure it out. That's true. Okay. And you Sorry. don't even you don't even know who, who this who this individual's name is. You don't know you don't know anything about them. You know. You don't even know which of the five voices they have. Exactly. <laughs> we just know it's <laughs> Elvish. Uh. All right. Well. The response you get a fairly lengthy response back in Elvin uh, that the party does not understand. Yeah. Uh, what Serene hears specifically, uh, it's there's there's some poeticism sprinkled in. Uh, it seems like this is some sort of maybe, you know, maybe. Sp- kind of like an almost prepared speech uh, that's been ready for a bit. Um, But it basically comes down to uh, this land is dead. Um, No no more shall it be disturbed. Uh, If you should you seek to proceed I shall kill you. Uh, before I see back to killing the others. So I'm going to ask a clarifying question. The others you speak of, are they the shadow walkers for they are our enemies? Uh, the answer is really long and it amounts to yes. Is this a bilingual elf to where I would be able to compel this individual? Uh, you know what? That hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Can I? Find I mean, out? if you if you want to, you could just you, you could just you make your understand. case, and then we roll for it. And if it's a miss, then no, they didn't even understand you. So he's like, yes, they are. I, I, I'm, I'm hunting them too. It's like, um, yeah. So Serene, I assumed translating for the party. Yeah, briefly. So at this point of like, like uh, basically, I'm gonna be like, you know, we have been following them uh, because they've been. Uh, They've been seeking to destroy the, the the mana springs. May we aid you in your quest to end them? It's like, can we help? <laughs> <laughs> We're here to wake up the land and leave. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's see, because he doesn't seem like interested in anybody right now. Like, yeah. So, Torgan, if you want to attempt to compel. I mean, I, just exactly like GQ said, like, like, uh, Torgan, uh, Glain said, you know, the land is dead, but we're trying to, we're trying to fix that. Like, can I say that to him? Yeah. Either I mean, yourself or through yeah. Serene. So your, your main, go- your main move here is you're attempting to persuade, persuade him. Let's, let's go with him. Uh, yeah. To do something. Uh, not kill us. Basically, yeah. Can we can we go? I'm this. I'm asking like like I, I'm I'm all the French. Can we help you? Right. Yeah. We would also like to see them dead. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Right. And the only reason I ask if it speaks English is because I mean, I've I've got to compel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, little, I'd say uh, I'd say we make better. the role. And if it goes poorly, then that's a good reasoning why it doesn't go well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a compel roll with a plus three. Like we, we, we want to talk to it and we have to press one for English. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, main goal right now is can we not fight? Basically. If we can be allies, that's even better. Oh, yeah. You know, we got a whole group here. And... Ooh. Okay. Torgan. Oh. oh. A strong hit. Uh, which that is that is plus one momentum for you. 
So congrats I mean, there. So you can he, leave that out later. Yeah. He said that. I mentioned the mana spring and that they've been attacking other ones. Like we might be in a good position to to gain magic dudes allyship or at least mutual agree to ignore each other's existence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe he's part of a settlement that we can sojourn with. <laughs> no. However, no. Uh, here's here's what's what. He's not going to join you. Mm. However, you are welcome to follow him if you can keep pace. Okay. Uh, he is, you know, it sounds like your goals are not divergent. So he is willing to let you follow him along the way. Um, and he very much understands that you are foreigners to this land and will likely not keep pace. But hey, he Dobbs. will not he will not stop you. Hey Dobbs, what's his name? His name is I am Sadura Anatu. Okay. You okay. translates roughly to that's because that's not that's cold not a human dude. name. It's Elvin. It's cold dude. Cold dude. No, it translates roughly to uh, last guardian, which means there's something going on here that's very interesting. Hmm. This guy. I'm gonna call him Elvish Presley. <laughs> you know what? How long, how long I have already you had that. I already had that. that. I already had that like ten minutes ago, and I was like, "No, <laughs> no." <laughs> Only an idiot would come up with that. <laughs> and half of us did. All right, and with that, he he turns to leave, and you may follow if you can Yay! keep up. Follow with pace. We 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 avoided I mean, a fight so far. It's yeah. Like, okay. I'm That's sure he could have killed us. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, better to have backup when fighting Shadow Walkers. And this so... guy can kill the guy we're trying to kill for us. Yeah, and then we won't have to fight him at all. Let's go. Yeah. Um, do we have... If we are following someone and we literally have a guide, does that can, does that constitute a uh, advantage on our role? It is a short-lived advantage that Torgan got in the form of one momentum. Yay! Hey. Let's let's go that way. It is still entirely possible that things go very sideways through no fault of you following a guy. I'm gonna make an iron vow to this guy, but I'm gonna keep up. <laughs> <laughs> and failed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he has wings. Gosh darn it. Anyway, we go. Let's go. All right, we're doing it. We're doing the roll. Not a miss this time, ideally. Or else things are going to get weird. Uh, oh. Almost a strong hit. Very nearly a strong hit. One away. Uh, but it's a weak hit. Which means... Well, that's not for you to decide. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Serene Glane Torgan. Three. Torgan... Uh, Yay! One, two, three, health, spirit, momentum. Health. Yay! Uh, well, Actually, let's see. That was probably best case scenario. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're chasing uh, this guy trying to keep up, and we clocked ourselves on a wall. Uh, Torgan, you can either uh, take that health back in at a cost of one momentum, or you can take a free momentum. Your new momentum is either three or five. Your choice. I'll take, the, I'll take the momentum. Ooh. All right. Uh, embrace the pain. Take plus one momentum. Yeah, honestly, that's... Searching that's through snow and armored not, gear not for more is probably hard. Yeah, Torgan is beginning to feel the toil of uh, of the cold. Um, it's, you know, he's, he's still in decent shape, but it's beginning to take uh, exact a price. So let's let's see if he can hold on. Does that bump us up to seven? Uh, that does, in fact, bump you up to seven progress. 
Yes. This guy's not hitting the button. There it goes. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> and that puts you guys at uh, your okay. You are you are closing in on what appears to be a far shore of this uh this icy tundra where this seemingly limitless flat plain of ice uh begins to peel away uh from from this level old frozen lake and into low hills uh, the land, the land sort of breaks apart in two, revealing what may have been an old river ages ago, uh, now merely a frozen trail disappearing into the hills. Your distant guide goes straight through. Oh, let's go. We gotta keep up. All right, let's see if things go well. Where? Show me that miss. No. Weak hit. Things aren't things aren't free. Uh, all right. Uh, same. It is Glane Spirit drops. That's okay. Yeah, it's super okay. You're Green doesn't care. Nervous. You're getting nervous because we're getting close to the Brotherhood. That would yeah. make sense. That would make that sense. Does make sense. What if this is where they squirreled away Gary? Surely. That seems likely. Wait, that Gary's seems a like squirrel? season seven territory. Alright, you are now at the position where you're kind of in striking distance on your uh on your journey. Don't you dare. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. You're just trying to bait us into something exciting. I'm just throwing there out there. Uh, you know, you could you could arrive but face an unforeseen hazard or complication. You'd love that, wouldn't you? I sure would. I, I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And You're suspy. I say we take one more and see how that goes. Let's say the rest of you. Alright. What's the worst that could happen? At least we know where he we're might. going, and we haven't pissed off. The magic elvish speaking dude yet. Yeah. We've got a nice big NPC to help us or something. Fight whatever shows up. Well, well, well. Serene. Congratulations. Yes. A strong hit. You're actually making progress here. I feel okay about a nine. I don't know. I feel like with a strong hit, I feel like we should go one more though. Like we didn't pay anything, so it's free. The next one may not be. If you miss now. There's a 77% chance. On a three? On a but plus I mean, three. Like, but like, it's a nine. It's How are we doing in keeping up with him? Uh, You are, like, you know, he is pulling ahead, but you are, for the most part, keeping, keeping, uh, keeping up enough. Over the over the terrain you've traveled, he clearly likes us. Oh, definitely. I wonder which of us is his favorite. Don't let don't let him talk to the tree girl. Hmm. Good idea. I'm I say we bring it up to a gentleman's ten. I am I extremely curious about this fellow. I haven't met anybody else who spoke Elvish in quite some time. Mm. And he reeks of magic, so I am extraordinarily curious. Well, let's see what happens. Are we going to reach destination or try to undertake that last leg manually? It's I vote sound, for the last leg. It sounds like that's the vote, so let's go. All right, here we go. Serene with a plus three. It is a weak hit. So that is progress. Uh, ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Serene. Spirit drop. That was a one-two. 
Uh, endure stress. Uh, if your spirit is zero, blah, 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 then roll heart, which is two. Weak hit. Okay. All right. You're okay because the only time that things go badly on these endure moves is if you get a miss on enduring. And then there's the, the table of terrible consequences. Such as be, face death. It doesn't really make sense for me to be getting the whole spirit thing right now. Just because, like, like oh my gosh, I just met, like, this person. Like, I, I should be fucking thrilled right now. Yeah, what's Whoa. going on there? <laughs> I don't know. You're the one with the dice button. Oh, that's fair. But what if he doesn't like you? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gotta like you. <laughs> he's one of those I mean, different types of he's kinda of scary, so. I don't know. <laughs> all right she really likes herself shall we uh shall we roll for the reaching destination you guys are at 10 now there's no other Let's choice just do five more of those yeah can we, just roll needlessly can we, can we uh is there any way to gain an advantage on a reach your destination call nope that's no, a straight 10 well then there's, nothing, momentum. Then there's nothing. nothing to do all right does the situation favor you we're gonna find out. Next time. Next time. No. All no! right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> it is a strong hit. Yes. Yes. The situation at your destination favors you. Choose one. Make a move with plus one or grab a free momentum. Momentum, please. All right. Momentum. Momentum for Serene. She's at six. It's incredible. I I also want a momentum. Too bad. Serene's the one that uh, undertook oh, that she's journey. One. Oh, oh, it's not for everybody. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, she paid for it with her spirit, so it's fine. He just pulled a total, like, genie move, by the way. That was like, I've been waiting to tell somebody no all evening. No! You cannot! No. All right. So, I mean, good news, bad news kind of thing going on here. Um, You guys arrive. There is no community to sojourn with. Actually, you know what? The Oracle could tell us if there is. There could totally be. There could be. I mean, they they could be, they're just self-sufficient. They don't trade. They just happen to be the remnants of a civilization. But they've been thriving for years through, you know, yeah. proper management. All right. Of... There is a small chance. Ever since they put in that Whole Foods, the community just popped up. Yeah. On the Oracle, if something is small chance... 91 or greater is what you need. So I'm going to roll the D100. I'm not expecting... No, there's no... no there is no. nothing here. Yeah, I didn't really expect there to be. His name is The Last Guardian. So... Mm. Um, that implies there's one. Yeah, but there's like a world first pe best pizza or whatever. Oh, everywhere. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you guys arrive at, not the Mana Spring exactly, but the area of the Mana Spring. Uh, an icy plateau, snow-covered. Uh, no trees around, much to uh, Sadia's dismay. Um, now let's see, where where is your guide in all this? Stabbing that Brotherhood dude in the face. Where is the Brotherhood in all this? Maybe they're not there. Maybe they're not there. That they, would be they weird. They succumbed to the elements. They were also unprepared. <laughs> they're dead. They just shadow walked away. They're just, they're just dead. They achieved what they wanted. They shadow walked away. They're somewhere sipping mimosas right now. Oh, those jerks. <sighs> Classic brotherhood. Um. Classic brotherhood of the traveling pants. 
there is... Okay. Oracle says... <laughs> this area... Uh, is not, not a full plateau. This is a sort of very, like... There are all kinds of caverns around this area. Um, and the first thing that you notice getting here is a sort of warmth in the air. Um, you see off, uh, as, as you're sort of cresting onto this one ridge here, uh, there is a, uh, sort of a standing puddle of liquid water, uh, with steady steam rising off of it. It's a volcano. No, we already did a volcano. It's a geyser. Uh, a quick, a quick investigation reveals that this is a, that there's a sort of, uh, hot spring somewhere in the area, creating several of these small, uh, Small pools of warmth, which is a welcome relief. Liquid water. I mean, it's better than what you've seen so far of everything being completely frozen. I sure wish they had a name for that liquid water. If only. So unfortunate. Um, uh, so the terrain is a little bit... A bit, a bit all over the place. Several, several small hills and valleys uh, along this uh, this raised area, um, and as such, there's all these these pools that have formed, um, which creates this very misty path, uh, twisting around. Mystical. Mystical. I see what you did there. Uh, uh, and you have sort of lost sight of your guide in all this. But, on the plus side, warmth! A place to rest for a moment, if not to resupply, but to at least feel, uh, feel actual temperature. Be less numb. Uh... Would it do us any good to gather information at this point? I mean... Uh, what did you have in mind? Uh, so this is searching an area, asking questions, conducting an investigation? I, yeah. yeah. Where, where's the mana swing? We're yeah. here. We're here. Somewhere. Somewhere around here. How do my magic where's the senses... Beef? How, do, how do my magic senses feel? How's my spidey sense? Uh, nothing. That's disturbing. It's not great. Could be better. He... I feel like you're building up to... I, I just want to go on the record saying he's building up to something. This whole time, he's been uh -huh. saying you don't feel anything. It's not great. It doesn't bode well. I... Uh, gathering information. Uh, that is going to be a wits roll. Which for Torgan is a plus two. Shall we I, roll? I would love to. All right. Let's see what happens here. <gasps> you rolled a one. But so did Yay. the challenge die. So you get a weak hit. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Uh, you uh, find information that complicates your quest or information that introduces a new danger. Take one momentum. Hey, good call. Uh, so what do you learn here? What are you... You're searching around. Uh, you've introduced a new danger, however. Um, we already know that we need to be watching out for the Brotherhood. Uh, but what new danger have we found here? Where do I go? Oh. Where do I go? Where do you go? <laughs> where do I go? Where do we go? Where do I, where do I go to put in my what I think you've done? <laughs> what? As a prediction. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you can make a prediction happen. Uh, all right, so here's what here's what happens. Um, so you guys are kind of investigating the area, um, and Torgan, uh, there is a small, a, a, a sort of basin in the area that it's 
it is not it is not collected any of this water. So just a little dry basin. Uh, very, very rocky. Uh, warm enough in the area that there's there's just not been any collection of, of snow in, in there. But down in the bottom of it, you see another one of these small uh, brotherhood uh, medallions or amulets. That's three. Two more and I can play Plinko. <laughs> Ta-da. Uh, so going down to grab that... Uh, you take a few steps down, and something complicates your quest or introduces a new danger. Um, you get a whiff of a terrible odor down in the basin. Um, and you very quickly start running out of breath. Uh, climbing out of the basin kind of instinctively, uh, you realize that the uh, there is some sort of heavy gas that is settled down in the basin and probably in a lot of these low-lying areas uh, that just you just can't breathe. Possibly related to the uh, to the hot springs themselves. Hmm. Sulfur dioxide, probably. But uh, there, it's some it's some heavy gas that uh, basically any basin area should be considered uh, basically a, a dry pool to drown in. Magic air. Magic, Got it. magic air. You smell something. So yeah, it's I wouldn't something. Know, I wouldn't know what that is. This is like, it's like 10. Yeah. It's like the year 10. It is in fact 10. It's magic air. You were born in in negative fifteen. Yeah. A wizard did it. Yes. Okay. See, that's it. Mm -hmm. We got it figured out. All right. So that's some information. Do you want to do you want to continue your search? Let's try and gain additional insight. Uh, you did not grab. You did not grab the amulet, by the way. Uh, got it. We got enough. Well, they um, they must have learned the same lesson the hard way. Perhaps yeah, there so. you go. Is the is the Brotherhood anywhere to be seen? That's the question. Ah, <laughs> looking for any? I mean, you you found a sign of them, but you do not see sight of them. So not much. alive of them. Yeah. We should probably try to keep up with our guide. He's getting ahead of us. Yeah, keep on, keep on keeping on. Oh, he's still moving. Well, we don't know. We kind of lost him a little bit. We got to where we're going, so where is he going? Hmm. Are we done with him? Well, we don't know. We know he's off to go kill some people. So we also would like to see. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's not really our goal, though, either. I mean, they, they were obviously... Yeah, I mean, there's still there's still twists and turns around this, this sort of mountain road here. It's like it's like saying the neighbors have bed bugs. Like that's not our business. <laughs> I mean, it's very much Glenn's business. Oh yeah, that's true. And this they would have be... also kind of been hunting us, so it is kind yeah, of yeah. So as well. maybe a bit, a bit of a bit of danger up ahead. Um, this uh, this path that you've been taking. Uh, there is a sort of old bridge. Who knows how ancient this thing must be? Um, like, it looks like it's made of, like, it's an old-fashioned rope and wood board bridge. Just your standard, standard bridge that has somehow survived, perhaps by just being, like, absolutely petrified over the years. Um, and it is going over a small chasm. It doesn't look like it's very deep, but it does look like it has slick, icy sides. Mm, hold your breath when you go over that, probably. Oh, that chasm is full of that poo gas. <laughs> Smells like poo gas in here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, crossing it will be dangerous. Not well, because it's an inherently dangerous bridge i mean it might be but just because there is a very strong danger associated with 
not being able to pass over. I mean, presumably dude bro went this way, so... And perhaps others as well. When he was moving, was he moving swiftly and quickly like a little deer, or was he like a lumbering... He was not lumbering. There was, a, there was a grace guy. to his movement. A very elven grace to it. Like it's not hard to believe that he just danced across this bridge, no problem. <laughs> yeah. I saw him dance across it. Oh, he yeah. did a pirouette. Backwards one, in fact. Oh, even, yeah. Um, Torgan, do you want to lead the way here? I only say that because you have the the highest scores right now. I'm I'm still kind of unclear what our goal is. I mean, right now, just con pressing just, forward, trying to forward. find the actual spring. You know it's somewhere in this area, but right now, you know, it's basically just somewhere up ahead, but we don't know and where. And my senses still aren't working. That too. It's very strange. Okay. So here's another question before we do this, which is, I'll, I will do it. Yeah, that's fine. You're welcome to roll while we do this, but now that we're, now that we're like not on a track it doesn't cost us a, a supply every time, right? Right, because you're not oh, you're not going on a great overland journey here. Right, so we're not out of the woods by any means. But no, but it's the immediate not, threat. We're, we're, we're not walking on glass anymore. Yeah, the immediate threat of uh, of supply being out of supply is is lessened. Yeah, the supply is not a problem. Now you're just going to fall down a bridge full of gas and die. Yeah, yeah, basically that. That's fine. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I would like to. I would like to roll. All right. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a slick, uh, a slick step over this. Um, it seems like these uh, these boards are long since frozen and may have never thawed the entire time they've been here. This sort of permafrost that's just been been on them the whole time. Um, however, however, yep. rope is good. Rope is good, even though it's a yep. little bit a little bit shaky. But once you get across. Yeah, you can employ the whole uh, fifty feet of rope trick let me be the to help everyone else. To die. Let's do it. Yeah, exactly that. Um. Okay, we hit. Hmm. Or I mean, momentum is possible, but I don't know if you want to do that. I mean, this is a face danger. This is not a... Yeah, it's not a huge one. You want to save that for something important, right? Well, that not necessarily. What's the consequence of a... What, what, I'm, you I'm probably would the... take a stress because you're freaked out. I mean, maybe. I mean, we'd probably roll between... I don't think harm would make sense in this case, so it'd likely be either stress or momentum. Yeah, all right. I'll, t I'll keep the weak hit. All right, we're going to roll... A D2 on that. Stress, momentum. Stress, momentum. Momentum. Probably the better hmm. option between the two, honestly. You got a little bit more of that to burn. Hmm. Uh, so it's a little bit... Okay, so you guys are losing a little bit of momentum on this. Uh, you're kind of slowing down a bit, trying to take it take it steady. After what Torgan explained, you know, happened down in that little basin, you guys are knowing, like, okay, we need to be very cautious here. Uh, so he slows down a bit because he kind of slips, but you guys are able to make it across. Uh, Sadia is pointing like she's still got a bead on exactly where you guys are heading, and it is straight ahead. Uh, you're a little bit worried about the whole, you know, lack of air in some of these basins. However, you seem to be heading on the right track. Uh, Serene's starting to get extremely suspicious about this whole Sadia can feel the magic, but she can't think. It I does seem to be something different from what you normally have. Yeah. I'm not confused at all. <laughs> oh. Um, Sadia is now pointing slightly up a bit. Um, as you guys are approaching kind of a, a little bit of a, an overhang, um, there are some small, like a, a sort of place you can kind of walk around to get up, kind of some stepping stones, 
Uh, it's a little bit of an incl a little bit of a climb, but nothing nothing that's like there's no immediate threat. So you guys are able to kind of make your way up safely. Um, and there, at the top of this small uh, small cliff uh, on top of the plateau, the terrain opens up yet again. And it seems like you're kind of at a, a local high point um, on the plateau. Stretching out f far in the distance. Uh, like, I mean, maybe, let's say, 100 feet or so. Uh, you see, a, it's kind of like looking at a small island with no water. The terrain dips down drastically and then rises back up about 100 feet across in a small area. It's Imagine a bunt cake pan, if you will. Uh, there in the center, on this sort of raised bit of terrain, it looks like there is an old structure built up. Like an old guard tower of sorts. Uh, old old fort, fortress walls. And all around it, a massive chasm. Not particularly deep. But just deep enough that you're pretty sure you've got an idea of uh, what might be in that seemingly empty uh, rocky depression in the ground. It's the spring. The snow whale. No. 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 Al, this is why. <laughs> this is it. This is why. What's that whale? So here's an issue. There is a large gap to cover where there's probably not a lot of breathing to be done. Let's add one other complication to this. Why not? It looks like there's movement over on the uh, on this small fortified uh, raised area in the center of this uh, of this uh, basin. Is it particularly shadowy? It may be a little bit shadowy. It's a bit of a distance, but you see what looks like humanoid figures. The walls, the walls are not perfectly complete. They're in a little bit of disrepair. And as such, uh, it looks as though there's been, you know, you know, there's small gaps where you can see figures moving on the other side. So what are you going to do now? Well, you said I can feel the magic specifically on... Mr. Guardian fellow. Yes. You okay. you felt sort of a pulse. You so, felt sort of a pulse as he kind of like shifted his his stance uh, while when you approached. Okay. Which you're not sure if that was like something that he is like it's something you can constantly feel or in some way he was like tapping into some source source of mana and you felt that that motion like a ripple in a lake like was that like a ping let's like, let's go with something like that yeah some kind of um like that was kind of like we weren't the first ones that reached out he was but in that way almost perhaps now it's uncertain whether or not he even intended you to be kind of sensing that at all or if your ability to kind of sense that is something that he did not know you would have had. For instance, if that's an elven thing, at that point he may not have even known that you were elven. He may still be suspect. Yeah. He may not have gotten a good look at any of you. So Just knows one of you speaks elvish. If I... So we can see them in the distance... Um, 
And there are definitely multiple figures, so it's not our guide. Right. And he did say he was leading us to basically go help him kill people. Yeah, I mean, not in so many words, but it's that's kind of the gist you got. Okay. So, maybe I... It was more of like, I'm going to go kill some people. You're welcome to kill them too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the more the merrier. So I'm going to kind of take a deep breath and kind of slide up to the edge of this this low area that we know was dangerous. I'm kind of hold my breath for a second mm -hmm. and do a quick spot check. Do I see Mr. Guardian fellow? Ooh. Do I see Mr. Guardian? Let's find is out. Is he going to go kill the people? Let's find out. Yes, Are he is. Okay, so these are the people we're doing going to do the killing. I am a ranger rider. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if they're Brotherhood, they can shadow walk. We don't have to go through there. Let's just put a flaming arrow in their general vicinity and get them to come to us. Is the gas flammable? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's, a, That's an excellent up? question that I was just thinking about. Can we... <laughs> If it's nitrous oxide, then no, but... But it's not. It's, it's magic gas. It's magicium. <laughs> I mean, if we have hot springs and geysers, it's going to be... It's well, dragon... it would probably be some form of methane in that it's... case. So yeah, it would be flammable. It's dragon flatulence. It's whatever it needs to be for the plot. Uh, I say cool. we just... Let's just blow the whole place up. That's a bad choice. That's a bad idea because then we won't get able to get a look at the mana spring. Hmm. So maybe we don't want to blow it up. That's what you're saying. So maybe instead of a fire arrow, we just use a normal arrow. That's fine. Okay. Now, keep in mind they are in kind of a fortified position. There are walls. There's a few gaps about 100 feet away. Yeah. You so made it sound like there were a couple of them like patrolling on the outside of the wall. Or maybe there's, on top of the wall. There's not really much of an outside of the wall. Like, this little this little raised area is fairly small, and the walls are built up pretty close to the edges. Okay. It's not to say that you couldn't... That you probably maybe couldn't get on the outside of it, but they are, they are, for the most part, on the inside. You're kind of seeing through the windows, you know, the movement, okay. the, the shadows moving about, skulking. Can I... Can I ask for something that you're probably going to say no to? I'm I'm listening. Okay. Wait, can we just, like, there's not a great chance, but can we roll, like, a slim chance that this gentleman that's been with us is, like, some sort of juggernaut that just takes the whole place out? Like, just... We will roll whenever that is necessary. Okay. Just, we, we did not do nothing. They just... But just... keep in mind, you guys are the heroes. Yeah, but he's the guardian. And and those people aren't really our goal. And no. He's plan he was planning to go kill them. He was going to do it anyway. We offered to help. So, like I I mean I'm I'm not pushing for the end of a season or anything like no, that, no. but or a series. Right. I'm just saying. Like he was aiming to kill them. We don't know how good he is at it. Right, right. Maybe successful could be could and, be and we, and we just stroll in and just like ah yes mana spring and then fast travel home end of season three roll credits da, da, da. um so i'm still feeling instead of trying to cross the chasm we do a hey look at me i'm a distraction make a loud just mm -hmm. kind of thing um on one hand, we lose the element of surprise. On the other mm. hand, um, I really don't want to walk through the no breath zone. Right. Um, it would be an well. Okay, for the no breath zone, that would be one roll. Because you know, succeed as a team, fail as a team, and it would be an iron roll. That's a that's a constitution kind of thing. 
Which, you know what? Torgan does have a plus three in. How can we get Torgan, um... How can we aid... Advantage? How can we aid Torgan in his quest? To breathe. To breathe. <laughs> Not necessarily to breathe, but just to kind of, I don't know, sc scout out, you know, spot the, spot the difficult terrain sections call him out before you guys make the attempt to get across. Nothing with fire. Nothing with fire. Or do we just roll for it? Let Can it be interesting. Him, like, my cloak and kind of wrap it around him like a scarf to protect his face from the, the fumes. Gas mask, that's not oh, a bad yeah. idea. Sure. Whatever makes the numbers go up. I may have ha I might have a, a spare scarf he can borrow for something like that. I mean, let yeah. borrow your let me borrow your mask. Yeah, I mean, granted, you're all going to be going across, but I'm a bard. I've got multiple scarves. Ah, that's a good point. All right, so day. Some of them have bells on them. But you're going to have serene. Yeah, yeah. Use the quiet ones or remove the bells. Either way. You're going to be making a uh, expertise roll to secure an advantage for Torgan. All right, let's see what happens here. It is... Well, you know what? That does help. That does help. One momentum gained for Torgan. Perfect. Turn. Well on the end. All right. Are we ready? Might as well. All right. Let's see what happens here. Torgan, roll well. Thank you. Torgan, I want to apologize. Well, he's dead. That was fun. Well, GG, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Ah. <laughs> costly turn of events. Pay the price. Pay the price. I have a dumb idea. All right. Locked into the air by a snow. Okay. Whale. Here's what happens. Gosh darn it, snow whale. All right. All right. So here's what happens. Uh, the six of you, all six, right? Is there, is everybody going? Yep. Okay. Ride or die. Oh Literally. boy. <laughs> yeah. Sadie and Lucia are going to be very helpful in combat. I mean, Lucia's been holding her on this far. That's true. That's true. And she has. I think we decided, Canon. She uses a small glaive. Yeah, she's not a. She's not much of a fighter. She's more of a scholar, but uh, she does what she can. All right, all six of you, pile on in. Take it. You take a deep breath. You got scarves on. You look. You look like a cool strike force going in with your very. Very bright and colorful scarves. Well, they're coordinated, no doubt. <laughs> yes. In beautiful mm. hues. Uh, and you begin just kind of... It's a hundred feet. It, it's not that far when you think about it. Like, you can hold your breath that long. But you guys are holding your breath while also being frostbitten. Carrying, you know, a hundred pounds of gear. Being tired. Having just climbed this freaking mountain. Right. Uh and running, you know what? Maybe this is a little... It, it kind of comes together to be kind of more of a struggle than you would have thought. However, uh, you're closing in on the end, and now it's kind of a go, 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 get up, get up, get up. It's a, There's a little bit of a climb up. There's a little bit of a climb up. Uh, now, before you were heading across, uh, you each noted kind of... Uh, you know, the, there was a little bit of scouting out to notice, like, where could they see us coming from? We want every advantage we can get. Uh, and it looked like kind of a little bit off to the sides. You guys would... If you guys make a straight shot from where you start, it's the shortest distance. But then go a little bit past that and then climb up to have a better shot of not being seen. So that's the goal. So everybody's running... You know, making their way, dodging the, the difficult parts of the terrain that you guys were already scouting about, taking every advantage you can to make sure that nothing goes wrong. 
and then something goes wrong. Uh, Serene and Glane split off in opposite directions. You guys don't want to have anyone crowding around one side or the other. Uh, same with, with, uh, with the rest. Everyone kind of splits off, uh, going in different directions to try and get up on top. Torgan, Torgan stumbles. There's a hesitation. He can't really call out for help. For multiple reasons. But as such, he's gonna have to go in, like, basically right at the front door. He, he kind of, he kind of runs the risk analysis, and he's like, I'd rather be starting combat at a disadvantage than be dead in a basin in on the middle of a frozen mountain. So he makes the tough call and he's like, all right, I'm going to be front and center. They might see me. They might not. Let's hope for the best. And he begins climbing right up the front. 31 months. Different from, uh, uh checks notes. different from everybody else. He's kind of, he's kind of off on his own a bit. No one else kind of really sees him. They don't know that he's kind of struggling to get up or falling behind here. The rocks in this area are not great for climbing. You guys weren't really checking for that because your assumption was we're going we're going to go around to the side. Torgan can't make the extra distance. He's kind of climbing up this difficult part. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. He reaches up. He reaches up to grab an outcropping in hopes that he can pull himself up and just grab that one breath he needs. If he can just grab one breath, then he can he can slide back down and go back to where he was where he was hoping to go up anyway. So he reaches for that rock. He reaches for that that little outcropping and he starts pulling up on it and then it gives way. And the 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 whole little bit of of stone just comes loose right in his hand and just gets flung down below. And he begins his other hand begins to slip into the into the unbreathable gas below. Remember the emergency plan was get captured on purpose. And all seems lost until he feels someone grab him by by the back of his gear and begin pulling him up. And half dazed from holding his breath and starting to pass out a bit, he looks up and hears a familiar voice. Torgan lad, hold on. I'll pull you up. A long face stares down at him as he begins being pulled up before losing consciousness. What? It's your horse. I guess. It is, in fact, a horse. It's a horse! <laughs> How is the Man. horse grabbing him and talking at the same time? I didn't say that it was the same person talking and pulling. Okay. Who grabs with a hoof? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two hoofs. Pinch. Um uh, End of episode. End of season question mark? No. I don't know what just happened? Well, you finally found your horse. So I guess that's your overall goal for the entire series accomplished you have gotten your horse you did it you die in peace now does the horse ha horse have a sojourn we will see i mean right now we don't know what the uh i thought the horse was evil well he's not letting you die so we'll give him the... we'll give him a chance to explain himself stay we'll tuned himself. for episode eight there's going to be an episode eight. Incredible. They want to kill Glane. Maybe they don't necessarily want to kill you. They burned my village. <laughs> Literally a cliffhanger. Wah, wah. The barn doors are wide open for next Al episode. Mm -hmm. Al did everything he could to kill us and did not succeed. He sure Sorry, tried. Al. <laughs> Looks like Al's getting a punch harder. to the face. 
Duff doesn't even know that Al actually made a roll that <laughs> to, to harm us. He did. He got to make a roll, finally. To cause harm. Kill Billy Al. And it helped. It just didn't hurt as bad as it could have. That's <laughs> not what... Now for everyone's favorite part of the episode, the graph. Yay! Yes. It's going to be a, a weird one, I feel like. Yeah, not many rolls. None from Glane! Pretty much mostly serene. Glane wasn't doing anything. I mean, he was there. I went to the bathroom. Oh yeah, that's what he was doing the whole time. <laughs> We've never... You almost broke the graph. Yeah, that's it, Germ. Well, we survived. Did I not do that one? What's that dark one in the middle? Is that black? Uh, that's a progress check. Oh. That's the, uh, you guys hitting 10 on the journey. That's right. Well, supply is still at zero. Spirit is dropping fast. Health is hanging in there. Now we're in danger. Yeah, now there's a whole lot going on. So we'll see what happens. It's uh we're in a position. We're we're in a bit of a spot here. The so next week could be the season finale. It's a possibility. Or the or the season or the end. Next episode but Glane makes every roll. Perfect. Yes. I made I almost said a couple of, of off script time, so. crazy things and I decided not to. <laughs> Clean hasn't gone off and done something stupid in a while. That's a shame. That's a darn shame. Always a good plot point. <sighs> well, there we have it. This is where we stand. Things are going to be very unusual starting out next time. We're going to have a lot of questions. I do have questions. I uh, yeah, me too. The thing is, you don't even know the answers to them. We'll you find out. Made it up yet. <laughs> I better get going. Will Serene learn more about the elf? Will Glane find his cat? Will Torgan reunite with his horse? What will Dob spend his swear jar money on? Oh wait, find this is week. pulling up a lot. Holy cow! I just realized this is like pulling up all three background vowels at once. Yep. Wow. You did it. <laughs> How did that? Wait, what? <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so Torgan confronting confronting his horse about the past. Uh, Glane coming confronting the Brotherhood about his cat, and uh. I don't know if the uh, I don't know if Serene took note of uh, of the elf's name, but it seems to indicate a connection to a specific tribe of elves. Mm -hmm. a PlayStation Three game. That's. Oh, I didn't get that reference. There's a reason I knew his name was the Last Guardian. Like I know that dialect. <clears throat> She's looking for the for the lost song of the Anatu elves, and this is Sedura Anatu. It's all coming together. Did you even realize you were doing that? Oh yeah. Just checking. I rolled a couple times in the dad? elven name generator, and I was like, "Oh yeah." Pull that back in. Um, it's Tony. There's a reason I knew what his name meant. <laughs> All right. Tony the L. So, um, next time. Answers? Maybe. Questions? Definitely. Questions. Deaths? Certainly. Plot. But who's? Um, this could be the season finale next time. I'm really not sure. 
I need to work on some of Serene's backstory. Just There's been something I've been waiting be useful for. for dogs. All season. Hasn't happened. <laughs> what? What hasn't happened? Something. I'm not going to say oh. it on stream. Someone dying? No. I mean, because that hasn't happened yet. It almost did a few times. Could happen next time. Oh, geez. And now, are we even going to get answers? Because there's a guy that wants to kill a lot of the people that could provide the answers. Oh, no. Oh, no. The people who are about to try and kill each other, some of them have some of the answers and some of them have the other answers. <laughs> and they want to kill each other. Yay. All right. Well, let's see what happens next time. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us for Dobbs Quest. Bye. 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 The end.